Damn. What is going on guys, Narcoleptic Nugget here, and we are back with another tips and tricks video for Rainbow Six Siege. Now before we get into the video, I just gotta say like, what is happening with the subscriber count right now? Now it's one thing that we hit 5,000 subscribers two days ago, N not even two days ago, like it's been less than 48 hours since we've hit 5,000, and we're already almost at 6,000. Like how are all these new people discovering my channel? This is just insane. So thank you guys so, so much for your support. I'm working on a 5,000 subscriber milestone right now. I'm just trying to figure out what to do for it. Maybe, I don't know, a subscriber event, hint, hint. But yeah, stay tuned for that. So hopefully that'll be up within a day or two and uh, who knows, maybe we'll be at 10,000 before I even post it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you guys so much and without further ado, Let's get into it. So right off the bat, I want to say that this video is intended for console players. Sorry to all you PC players, this won't really help you, but this is really going to help out my Xbox players and my PS4 players. So in this video, I'm not only going to teach you guys how to shoot faster, but ultimately I'm going to teach you guys how to remap your controller buttons so that you can play Rainbow Six Siege how you want to play it. Now I'm making this video for two main reasons. The first is because not only do you guys always ask me, you know, what are my sensitivity settings and stuff like that. But I get a lot of questions as to how I shoot so fast with a handgun in my videos. And a lot of you guys think I use a scuff controller, but I actually don't. I've simply remapped some buttons to make it a little bit easier to shoot faster, or at least I find it easier. And the other reason I'm making this video is for all you Call of Duty players out there who are now joining us in Siege and absolutely hate the controls. The most common issue that I've heard from you Call of Duty guys is that you wished Rainbow Six Siege had a tactical button layout. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that although Rainbow Six Siege doesn't let you change any buttons in game, you can still customize the controls to however you want. And I'm here to show you guys how to do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to kick things off, let me just quickly tell you guys the settings that I use. For the most part, I use a horizontal and vertical sensitivity of seven. However, I knock them both down to six if I'm really jittery after like a coffee or something. As for my dead zones, I keep them at the minimum possible, which I think is 5% on the PS4. I really hate any delay when I'm moving the right analog stick around. And then my aim down sights or ADS is set at 63. I have no idea how I ended up on that number, but it's been like that for a while, so I'm just gonna leave it. And to the question that you've all been asking, how do I shoot so fast? All I've done is I switch swap the trigger buttons on my controller with my bumper buttons. So I use L1 and R1 to aim and shoot instead of L2 and R2. Now I don't know about you guys, but I find it so much easier to shoot faster with R1 than R2. And that's because you only have to push down R1 a little bit and then it stops. So you know exactly when your gun is going to fire and then it'll bounce back up and let you do it again. Now it's definitely possible to shoot fast with R2 as well. You just have to find that sweet spot on the trigger and then kind of go back and forth over it. You never really release the button all the way, nor do you push it in all the way. But when it comes to an intense ranked match, I don't really want there to be any guessing. And that's why I prefer using L1 and R1. Also, in terms of reaction time, I feel like it's faster for me to push down R1 than pushing down R2 all the way. So, now you might be asking, how do I change my buttons then, Nugget? Well, as most of you know, in Rainbow Six Siege itself, you can't really do much in terms of customizing your controls, but we're not out of luck. For both PS4 and Xbox users, you can actually customize your controls in the console itself. So first for PS4 users, what you want to do is you want to go to Settings, then Accessibility, then Button Assignments, and then Enable Custom Button Assignments. And if you're on Xbox, you want to go to Settings again, you want to go to Ease of Access, and then button mapping. Once here, you guys can customize your controls to however you like. So you can do what I do and switch R1 with R2 and L1 with L2. But here's the big one for you Call of Duty players. From here, you can switch your circle button with your melee R3. This will give you guys who are looking for that tactical loadout what you're looking for. Now you might think this is really annoying to have to go in and do this, but you actually don't have to do this every time. On the PS4, once you customize your button assignments, you won't ever have to do it again. All you have to do is when you're in Rainbow Six Siege, just go to this menu and then just check the box, enable custom button assignments, and then it'll be all your settings that you already changed. And then when you're out of the game, just uncheck the box. It's really easy. Now some words of caution, when you do this, there is gonna be an adjustment phase, especially if you change R1 and R2 and L1 and L2. Now if you just imagine for a second, and this may have happened to a friend of mine, but I'm not gonna say their name. So imagine you just changed your controls, you customize them, you're all excited, you changed R1 with R2 and L1 with L2, and you're playing as Frost, and you're not really used to the new controls yet, but you go to put a frost mat down near the hostage. Frost mat used to be R1, but now that's shoot, so you end up killing the hostage. Now again, I'm not gonna say that happened to a friend of mine, and if it did, I'm not gonna say their name, but just be wary of that. 
No, but all jokes aside, there is going to be an adjustment phase for you guys, especially if you've been playing Rainbow Six Siege for a while under the controls that they give you. But if you do take Siege at all seriously, like even with your buddies, then I would highly suggest doing the adjustment phase and just, you know, customizing the buttons to how you want to play because in the end, it'll help you out. And if you are new to Rainbow Six, then welcome. And if you are coming from something like Call of Duty, I hope this video helped and made the transition a bit easier. All right, guys, did you find this video helpful? Well, let me know in the comments down below. And if you did, then drop a like. And if you guys want to see more Rainbow Six Siege tips and tricks videos just like this one, then hit the subscribe button down below. Once again guys, thanks for watching, and good luck sieging.